In this video, I'd like to share with you some of the technology that we use in assessing body composition. Uh, I have here a collection of uh, body composition uh, measuring instruments. I'd like to start first with the uh, Lafayette type uh, or Lang caliper. Uh, these are probably more what we see at, uh, at Pierce College. You can see the increments are within one millimeter increments. They also make langs that uh, come in two millimeter increments. Obviously the resolution is not as good, so sometimes you have to check when buying to make sure you're getting the right type. Another type we'll see fairly often is the Lafayettes. The Lafayettes are very similar in design. They do have a pivoting head, so you can kind of get the skin folds a little better. These can go up as high as 100 millimeters, so you can get that for some of your uh, larger patients. Uh, probably the industry standard would be the the Harpendon calipers. These are probably the top of the line calipers. You can see the increments again are one millimeter and the dial actually goes around two times and you can see the little small dial uh, it actually shows 20 and then 40. So, okay, the blades are one centimeter, approximately a centimeter, and this is the depth you would go in and taking your measurement. Uh, they do make Hard pendant calipers in smaller sizes for smaller hands. You can see this is a, a much smaller on the handles. So you can have that also. And they actually even make calipers with built-in computers that can actually do the assessments and uh, actually uh, do it in a computer uh, algorithm that is built in. Uh, all calipers, uh, usually the manufacturers, might include a calibration block. And on the calibration block you could take your measurements and you can check to see the accuracy of the caliper with the different settings uh, with the calibration block. Uh, other calipers they have are computerized calipers. This one has the Dernan formula for the different age groups and this is uh, built into the calculator so as you do your measurement you would get your skin folds and you would select your equation that you're going to use. This one uses Dernan and Wormersley and this one uses the Jackson Pollock formulas that again you would dial in with a dial and it would tell you each measurement and you would uh, get your measurements. Again these have a calibration block that you would do your measurements with uh, just to ensure uh, that they're accurate. Uh, this is an electrical impedance unit made by Omeron where they're held in the hand and you would select uh, some variables like your sex uh, and your, uh, uh, your height and your weight and this will compute out BMI and also electrical impedance. Uh, one issue is uh, you need to put in whether you are an athlete or not and that can change the number significantly also. Uh, another area is uh, electrical uh, impedance. We also have this ultrasound method where this little wand actually goes into the bicep and measures the thickness and it prints a, a, a reading out. These are fairly expensive machines but uh, again uh, can give you a, a good idea of where the body composition is. Uh, lastly uh, we have a Holton caliper. These are made in England and these are probably one of the fancier calipers. These uh, go all the way around 40 millimeters in one rotation. Again the blades are about the same width as the Harpendons. Uh, these are fairly expensive uh, but very very nice caliper also. Lastly, we have the scales. Uh, the scales can uh, uh, actually stand on them barefooted and they work on electrical impedance and again can give a fairly good representation of where your body composition is. Uh, again, you would have to designate whether you're an athlete or a non-athlete uh, to get your readings.